We would like to present to you something both striking and curious. We call it the primary proof, the sign, the miracle. We speak of a physical object existing in reality, of an old book written more than a thousand years ago. It is a book which contains a blend of brilliant poetry, deep prose, coherent philosophical and ethical system, scientific phenomena, and mathematical symmetries. This book contains ultimate answers to all major questions. Profoundness and integrity of these answers are capable of filling the soul of the seeker of truth with a sense of enthusiastic satisfaction from the attained goal. And the answer to the question of God will undoubtedly be the most important. The book convincingly verifies the existence of God and at the same time completely reveals his will. This concrete evidence is the mathematical code encrypted within the text. The book carries a complex mathematical structure based on proportions, symmetries, sequences, and numerical values of letters, words, sentences, and chapters. The creation of such structure is unthinkable without the application of advanced computing technology, especially considering the age of the writing. This book is the Quran. It is precisely this kind of proof that was searched for by the greatest thinkers and scientists of old and present. Pythagoras, Xenophanes, Euclid, Socrates, Plato, Aristotle, Al-Farabi, Averroes, Avicenna, Anselm, Thomas Aquinas, Alcon, Copernicus, Kepler, Galileo, Deppitt, Bacon, Newton, Leibniz, Pascal, Godel. In direct awe before the might of God, thinkers attempted to understand his creation with the help of their reason. Exploring the world in search of divine traces, they achieved much and built the world we live in. The activity of these people led to revolutionary changes in lifestyle, way of thought, and colossal accomplishments in the fields of science and technology. However, the simple accumulation of knowledge wasn't the goal of the geniuses. The main objective was to find logical, convincing and verifiable evidence of God's existence. Let's begin with Bismillah, a first verse of the book which is found exactly 114 times in the Quran. Bismillah is the most frequent verse in the Quran. It sounds like this, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim, in the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Bismillah is a perfect example to reveal the mathematical phenomena. Bismillah has 19 letters, it is easy to count even if you do not know Arabic. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. These are numerical values of each letter. By adding their values together, we can determine the values of each word and total value of all words. Their value, 102, 66, 329, and 289. Total numerical value of all words, 786. Bismillah has four words. 19 letters, total numerical value of Bismillah is 786. This six-digit number is divisible by 19 without a remainder. Let's rewrite the sequence number of each word in Bismillah and after it number of letters in each word. This whole sequence is an eight-digit number divisible by 19. If we add the number of letters in each word to the number of letters in the next word, we will get a 10-digit number divisible by 19. If we add the numerical value of each word to the number of letters in this word, we will get a 15-digit number divisible by 19. If we add the numerical value of each word to the numerical value of the next word, we will get a 16-digit number divisible by 19. If we write the number of letters in the word, then the numerical value of each letter in this word separately, then the numerical value of each word, we will get a 48-digit number divisible by 19.
If we write after the numerical value of each letter, its sequence number in Bismillah, from 1 to 19, we will get a 62-digit number divisible by 19. At first sight, it all seems as some sort of manipulation and trick. Skepticism in this case is quite appropriate and reflects a sound mind. It is possible to create patterns in words, even sentences, adjusting their values accordingly. This will take lots of time and mathematical skills. History knows of such examples. However, to do such task with the whole book, literary masterpiece, historical document, religious and philosophical scripture, ethical code, and judicial compendium is unreal. Colossal complexity of such task is unimaginable. Human intellect, especially in the 7th century, is simply not fit for such task. It would take supercomputer technologies to calculate data of such magnitude. It is not without reason that Quran challenges humanity to produce a book like this. Or do they say, he invented it? Say, bring 10 invented chapters like it, and call it on whom you can besides God if you're truthful. So far, the challenge has not been accepted, and no one has been able to refute the mathematical miracle of the Quran. Will you dare? The mathematical miracle guarantees the safety of the scripture. There remains as a long-awaited, indisputable confirmation of the extraterrestrial origin of the Quran. Verse 30 of the 74th chapter says the following. On it is 19. Do you want more of mathematical facts, this time without complex calculations? Okay, only proven and verified facts. By the even and the odd, says verse 3 of chapter 89, attracting our attention to the possibility of an experiment. The Quran, it contains 114 chapters. Every chapter contains a certain amount of verses. The total sum of the 114 sequence numbers is 6,555. Total amount of numbered Quranic verses is 6,234. 114 chapters of the Quran. Half of them odd sequence numbers, half even. Let's organize chapters according to the evenness and the oddness of their quantity of verses and sequence numbers. We're left with four categories. The category of two odds is a category where the sequence number and the quantity of verses are both odd. The two even category is where the sequence number and the quantity of verses are both even. The even odd category is where the sequence number and the quantity of verses are even and odd respectively. And finally, odd even category is where everything is exactly the opposite. Now let's combine categories into groups. Here we have chapters where the sequence numbers and the quantity of verses match by evens or odds. And in the other group there are chapters where the sequence number and the quantity of verses do not match by evens and odds. Truly astonishing are the following facts. In both groups, the distribution and the number of sores are not only symmetrical but also equal. While the sums of the sore numbers and the number of ayahs in the respective groups are equal to the sums of the same factors throughout the whole Quran. Clearly, before us is a perfect harmony, symmetry, and beauty. Code 19 is present not only in the first verse of the Quran, but literally runs to the whole first surah, Al-Fazihah. The first surah consists of seven verses. Let us write down order number of each verse, number of words in each verse, number of letters in each verse, numerical value of each verse. Total number of words in the whole surah, 29. The number of letters in the whole surah, 139. Numerical value of all words in the surah, 10,143. Now let us represent available sequences as numbers which are divisible by 19.
In the end, we get 10 patterns divisible by 19. 